Welcome to Yucanic. Today here on Yucanic, we have a 2020 Honda Civic. On this Honda Civic, we have our check engine light on. So we have our OBD2 scanner hooked up, and we are going to power it up, and then be able to look at what it is to give us a better narrow down of what that sensor is. There's very many sensors on your vehicle, and there are a lot that have to do with the emissions. And so we're going to see if we can narrow it down so we know which one we need to be looking at. So we go into the diagnostic, that was from the home screen. Um, and we are in the Asian, where you can go through the all portion. But then we're gonna pick the Honda. And now we will do the smart pin. And now we'll do the control module. This way we can pick which module we wanna look at. And right now we want to be looking at the uh, engine control module. And so we're going to check that engine control module and see what the issue happens to be. Uh, option two, and we have the manifold absolute pressure sensor circuit is high voltage. So the MAP sensor, so some people call it, and that is a 03-2. So let's go find our MAP sensor and uh, look around to see what's going on and then replace the sensor if that's what, if that's the only other thing we can find that maybe has gone bad. So the MAP sensor is located on the mass, uh, manifold pressure. And that's why it's a manifold absolute pressure sensor. So here's our intake manifold, and we've got our uh, intake for the four uh, cylinders. And here is the sensor that we are looking for. The sensor is the same type of sensor as the one that is for the turbo intake sensor. So you could swap them out and just to rule out one or the other, whether it's the sensor or maybe it's a wiring issue. But to start with, we would look at the wiring to see that everything is um, hasn't been frayed and haven't had any critters that have crawled in there and done anything. And that's just this opening part. Um, you may want to be looking in here also in the wiring harness if you feel that there is something that has compromised that. Otherwise, maybe the sensor has just gone bad and is giving you the proper readings. So you just unhook the, the sensor by squeezing and pulling back. 8mm socket to get the bolt out. Okay, so the 8mm socket, or you could use a wrench. We're able to get that undone. Now, take that out, and you'll be able to pull the sensor out, move it, and pull it out. And that is our sensor to be removed. Do a good visual inspection, and just to make it to roll out, and you can do some test to test this or just get a new one and replace it. So we have our new sensor, or you take a new sensor, put a little bit of uh, oil on there just so that the O-ring will slide in there nice and easy and not pinch between the uh, two surfaces so that we get a good seal. We have another, uh, put that eight millimeter back in and tighten that back up. And then uh, make sure we uh, reconnect the connector there, and that will be the MAP sensor, or mass, uh, the manifold absolute pressure sensor that we have just located and replaced. So after replacing the sensor, we've come back to the side of the vehicle, or to the uh, vehicle, turn the key back in the on position. The engine not running, but key in the on position. And with the, uh, the scanner still hooked up, we are just going to hit the erase option to clear out that code because we did replace it and that was a 03-2. Clearing the code, we, we heard it send the stuff to the, um, the ECU, you hear the clicking there. It's clearing the code request is sent, please read the codes again to check that the DCT, DTCs are cleared successfully. And so if we hit enter here, it's going to tell us to turn that ignition off. Now we turn the ignition back on. We're just following the prompts that come on the UCAN scanner. And then you hit back. And that would be how you would replace the manifold absolute pressure sensor. And that is one possible thing with the, the sensor, or you could have another issue that the pressure that it's, uh, the computer is designed to know is not reading the right pressure being you have a crack in that or the hoses and pipes that go into it, um, the vacuum lines aren't 
uh, properly connected. So there's other things that you can look at. But that happens to be just the sensor portion at this time. Thanks for watching Mechanic, or you can be the mechanic.